are back in the Geico Studio Suite. Hi again, everybody. Al Troutwick here. Tina Servasio is down on the court about to tell us the second part of her Jonathan Bender story. He's coming off a game in which he looked pretty good behind the three-point line, but that's a lot more to his story. Al, in part one, we saw what Jonathan Bender had to do to physically get himself back in the NBA after walking away four years ago. Now, while Bender lost the power in his legs to run and jump with the best of them back in 2005, he actually learned how to empower others in his journey into becoming Becoming a successful businessman. On February 4th, 2005, Jonathan Bender announced he could not play basketball anymore due to debilitating knee problems that zapped his passion for the game. I was already in and out of games, so I hadn't lost, lost the whole feel of it, and it was just like, you know, the love had kind of, you know, kind of diminished itself. For one full year, Bender did not play or watch basketball. He did not touch a ball. It was a first uh, since I was about 11 years old. So um, I take on challenges uh, head on. So um, I wasn't sitting in the corner crying about it. Bender returned to his hometown of Picayune, Mississippi and filled his free time with new challenges. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. So I said, I'm not going to sit down. You know, I like victories. I like to be, I like to win. So my thing was, you know, let me get started on the game of life. Around that time is when a hurricane happened, like right, I think right after that, and uh, started jumping into some different ventures. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, which devastated his hometown, Bender organized a relief effort, filling tractor trailers with donated supplies for the victims. I have a construction company, and I sub out to, to various uh, contractors or whatnot, and uh, we used a couple in around the area, so we were, were able to employ a certain amount of people and that, that felt good also to be able to, to employ people and also provide a product for families at the same time and stem the economy of Louisiana, of New Orleans. Drafted in 1999 out of high school, Bender had no college education. He educated himself in business and developed the Jonathan Bender Foundation and a construction company, Kingdom Homes. I wanted to learn business, you know, and to learn business, I had to go out and experience business. I had to hit my head a, a whole lot of times. I had to take a lot of losses to, you know, to get to a point where I understood what I was doing. What I was doing, I was basically picking up dilapidated properties and rehabbing them. I like design, I'm into design. So, you know, we went into the properties with my subcontractors or whatever, and we went in and we, um, these properties were flooded now for the water. If you can imagine uh, a type of property looking like that. So. We would go in and I have the type of mind where I can look at something and see it, you know, 45, 60 days later when it's done. Got it done and we got a family in there and they were happy and smiling and, you know, excited about their, their house. But Bender's job is not finished after he hands the keys to the new owners. Ultimate goal is to, I think, is to help them own, figure out how to own the home. You know, it's easy for me, a developer, to come in and pick up that house and and redo it and put a family in there because it's such a large demand. But the hard thing is to get them to understand, you know, about their financial situation, or how to handle a home and, and being a leader in their community. I like to talk to people and just ask them what are their end result. A lot of people just work to work. A lot of people work at, work at a job that they hate to work at. So I kind of get, you know, try to get in their head and figure out what are their end result. I showed up at the school and we did a party for them. And I said, I got on the microphone in the cafeteria, I said, look, so I'm going to talk to Miss Gloria, your principal. We're not going to come back and have another party unless you're on your best behavior and you guys have good grades. That's an incentive for them. Bender says he has no expectations in his second stint in the NBA. He has already reached his goal of making a healthy comeback and playing in a game. It's all part of the Jonathan Bender plan on and off the court. I'm never a person that's going to give up and lay down. Even when it, lo it looks like I'm laying down, I'm actually not. You know, it's always a plan. I always have a plan. Uh, I'm a warrior. Uh, I'm a team player. Uh, I'm a guy that always wants to, to, to empower uh, the other person if they want to be empowered. Um, and, and, and I was a relaxed personality and, and hopefully a good friend. 
And while Bender is now a member of the Knicks, he is still CEO of JB Enterprises, which encompasses both the Jonathan Bender Foundation and Kingdom Homes. And it doesn't end there. He has also developed Bender bands. Now, they are these bands that you wrap around your knees, and he used them on himself to help rehabilitate his knees. They are currently being tested at Purdue University and will soon become a part of the sports medical lexicon. So it doesn't stop with the NBA. He is still working with his company and still creating things and also continuing his philanthropy, Al. Okay, Tina, interesting. It's always good to be called the CEO.